All right, let's look at how to explore directories and director trees in C Sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And my new project is going to be a console application. And I will call this one my uh, tree walker. So I'll go ahead and create this. And the first thing I need in here is to have a using statement for using my system.io. So I want to be able to go through the directory tree and system.io provides the ability to read and write, well, read and write files and walk through files. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a method in here. So um, I'll call it something static, do a void. Um, and this one I'll maybe call it a explore. So I'm going to explore a given file name. So I'll do a string file name and we'll look and see what that is. So when I get in here, the first thing I want to do is, well, figure out, is this a, uh, a file or a directory or what is it? So I'm going to go ahead and um, down here, I'll put um, check file type so it might be a directory it might be a file we just want to check to see if, if what it is so I'll do if um, file dot exists that's how we check to see if it's a file then I put file name there then I'm going to do something so I will just go ahead and do a right line so I'll do a console right line and I will say file colon and I will have the file name just say it's a file name all right if it's not a file it might be a directory so I'll do else if directory exists and then I'll pass it my file name. Then it's a directory. So if it's a directory, then what do I want to do? Well, I want to write out that this is a directory. And I can just do dir and then the file name. So this alone should work pretty good just for seeing if a file is there or not. There is also another possibility that maybe it's not a file, it's not a directory, like you pass some garbage in, or we don't know. So let's do have, an, have another else statement. And then we're going to say else um, we want to just print out something. And this would be a unknown. And we can always figure that out later. And then we'll give her a file name. And then if it's something else, I don't know, like some kind of a symbolic link or something, then we could figure out what it is. All right. Now I'm going to have this thing start out. Instead of having a console right line here, I'm going to have it start out by just exploring some location. Now, I have created a directory tree right here. C colon tester has three directories in it and then three files in it. And inside of the first directory, it's empty. The second directory has some files. And then the third directory has some files. And I want to traverse all this and figure out what's there. So I'm going to go to C colon slash, so I'm going to do at sign right here c colon slash test dir as my starting location and so it's going to run this and it's going to check and see if it's a directory or what it is so i'll go ahead and run that oh i forgot semicolon run that all right so now it shows that c colon slash tester is a directory that's great 
But if it's a directory, I want to actually walk through it. So I want to walk the directory. So I'm going to check directory contents. All right. So what I'm going to do is get a string um, of all the contents in the directory. So I'm going to find all my files first. And that one's going to be a directory get files um, for my file name. And then I want to get a list of directories as well. Call that DIRS. Get directories. Okay. Now with these two, I can go ahead and process these. So for each one of the files, I'm going to just uh, run this explorer function recursively again so it can then tell that it's a file. And for the directories, I want to, well, go ahead and list them and then explore each one of those. So um, for each, each uh, string file in files, I want to run my explorer again with the file name. And then I want to go through and for each directory, I want to run the same thing. to explore those. Oops. Guess I don't want to use file name. I want to use file. All right. So then I should look at each one of these things right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this and then we will try and make it look a little bit better. So you can see now you got directory file, file, directory, file, file, directory, file, file. I want it to look a little prettier because it's kind of hard to see which one's inside of what. I mean, you can see it right here, but not really. So I'm going to add one more piece to my, my explore function here. I'm going to pass in an int and maybe level. So that means that when I run this, I have to pass in uh, maybe a zero for the first level. And each time I call it recursively down here, I have to pass in a level. So I'll do a level plus one. And this one right here is going to be level plus one. So it's one level deeper. That still doesn't do anything yet for me. So what I'm going to do up here is do some indentation. And I'm going to do a console and this time, instead of doing a right line, I'm just going to do a right. And I'm going to write a new string. And my string is going to take a space. And um, it's going to have it maybe do the level times two. So what this will do is it will do two spaces for every level. And then just write that out. And then afterwards, it's going to print things. So I'll go ahead and run this. And then what you see now is the base level. Everything inside of it is at this next level right here. And you can see how it goes down and displays the contents. So this is how you can traverse a directory tree and find the information. So we've got just passing in my location and you can do that from your args. You can do it from anything. Um, then once it gets inside, I have this method that I call recursively that displays some indentation displays either a file or directory. And then if it's a directory, it walks to the directory and then finds all the new files and directories inside of it and then runs that recursively. 
You could also update this to do file statistics as well, figure out things like file size or other attributes about the file. But this is a little introduction to system IO and files and directories.